Hey everyone, this is Benjamin at the English of Everything and today I'm going to give you a beginner's lesson on the subject of maths. If this video is too basic for you or you know these things already, I'm going to post a more intermediate, higher level video and if you'd like I'm going to put it somewhere here and uh, click on it and it will take you to that video. But this one is for the beginners and we're going to go through some of the basic uh, things that you need to know in order to do maths. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn the word sum. Let me start here. Sum. And a sum means this is a sum. is a sum. Inside this sum there are different symbols and we're going to talk about what these symbols are and I'm going to teach you this vocabulary. So the first symbol is this and it's and this is a um, very basic symbol in maths and we call this plus. So one plus one, two, two plus two, four. It's also called add. So one add one, two, two add two, four. So this is plus or add. The next one we have is this symbol and this is called subtract. subtract. It also has a couple of other names as well. One is minus and one is take away. And this is two subtract one one. Three minus two one. Ten minus five, five. Also take away two, take away one, one. Three, take away two, one. Ten minus five, five. Ten subtract five, five. Okay, the next one, okay, this is called multiply. So, Two multiplied by two, four. And also we can say multiplied by. So so four multiplied by five, twenty. And also we can call it times. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 5, 20. And the last one of these four is called divide. And when we use it, it's the same as multiply. Divide, multiplied by, divided by. So 4 divided by 2, 2 because 2 goes into 4 twice. Um, divided by anything else? Yeah, it goes into. So 2 goes into 4 twice. The other symbol is this one. And this is called equals. Also it's called is. We use this. So 2 minus 1 equals 1. 3 subtract 2 is 1. 10 take away 5 is 5. Okay, so these are the basic five symbols in maths. So we have plus, subtract, multiply, divide. And also we have equals. Okay, 
couple of other small things for you. Um, we have two groups of numbers. The first one is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, etc., etc. And the second group is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, etc. This first group we call odd numbers. And the second group we call even numbers. And odd means it's always you can't divide it by 2. So even, you can divide by 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Odd, you can, can't divide by 2. So these are odd numbers and even numbers. Okay, we well, some other things for you. Okay, interesting word. Sometimes this is used in maths, and it's the word dozen. For example, if you go into a shop, and you say, can I have a dozen eggs, please? A uh, dozen. And it means 12. And a group of 12 things. Can I have a dozen eggs? 12. Can I have a dozen bars of chocolate? 12. You can have half a dozen. And half means between 1 and 0. So half a dozen. So it means... Six. Half a dozen six, a dozen twelve. Okay, another thing we use when we're talking about half, if we have the number zero and the number one. Because zero, one. But between this, there are many, many numbers. For example, naught, five. And this is half of one. Between zero and one, naught. 5 is half. And we call this thing point. So, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1. And this is called a point because it's a decimal point. So, decimal point. And this is a decimal point. And you always have this 10.4. 20.9, for example. This is the decimal point. Okay, this is everything for today's video. So we have plus, minus, multiply, divide. We have equals. So all of these, we have odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. We have even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We have a dozen which is 12, and half a dozen, which is 6. And we have decimal points. So between whole numbers, so you have 0 and 1, you have 0 0.5. Okay, that's everything for now. I shall go off and make the intermediate video. So if you'd like to know more, or if this was far too easy for you, try the next video. Okay, see you there. Bye-bye.